Good morning, guys. Welcome back. I am recovering from COVID. It's like day six and I'm feeling so much better. I really went through it. It's my second time having it. I felt like crap for like a whole week. As you can imagine, my life is in shambles. The house is a mess. Everything is dirty and contaminated. We're going to get our lives together. So let's go ahead and get started. I already stripped the sheets. I'm going to throw those in the wash. And then I just finished running all of our throw blankets because we've been coughing into these. So I'm gonna put these in the dryer. AJ had COVID too, if you didn't watch my last Q&A. I think we got it from the concert that we went to. It just feels so good to get everything clean and I have to clean the bathrooms too because those are a disaster. I have to clean the toilets and oh my gosh. <laughs> I keep, <coughs> I keep, I feel like everything's trying to come out of me. Oh, I keep like, what's the word? Like when you have phlegm and it comes out when you cough, that's been happening. This thing is disgusting. I need to completely wipe down this area. I already stripped the couch. I'm gonna wipe down the entire couch, vacuum, clean her tree, clean everything, wipe down the windows. And I wanna wash our pillowcases like this, these ones. I've only washed this once before. <laughs> So now is a great time to wash it because when we're laying on the couch, I like put my head on it and I like drool on it. It's disgusting. I actually want to get new pillows. This is AJ's favorite pillow because it's really soft, but it's like really disgusting and it has like stains on it. Vinny's thrown up on this like five times. It's got like pills on it. So I'm going to wash it anyway, but we need to get some new pillows. Part of the reason why I got a leather couch is because I cannot imagine having to strip like the, the covers off my couch and have to wash it. Like that sounds like the worst thing in the world. So I just take a rag and I wipe it down. Lazy girl lifestyle. Oh, I almost forgot. I made a to-do list of course because I just could not wait to start resetting my life. I need to wash my sheets, wipe down the house, clean the bathrooms, like deep clean the bathrooms, cook dinner. I'm gonna make a fish recipe. Work out, do some computer work, air out the house. That's all I can think of. Let me actually air out the house right now. While I'm cleaning, I like to open the windows, especially after being sick. It's probably just a mental thing, but I like to... Not too much, because it's hot outside, but I just like some airflow. And I only do this when I'm supervising Vinny because yes, we do have screens so she can't like push it out, but God forbid she gets like super strength and like busts through the screen. I don't want to be responsible for losing her. Our neighbors next door just moved out and they lost their cat in the process of moving. So I'm like vigilant right now. And the new people just moved in and they're already remodeling. Like they're jackhammering like 24 seven. So I wonder who our new neighbors are. I haven't gotten a chance to see them yet. I think it's just the construction crew right now, but how cool would it be if it was like a young hot couple next door? go-to smoothie I swear for the past like two weeks I drink this smoothie every single morning and I'm obsessed with it I just do like two tablespoons of oats for some carbs my seed cycle mixture which is flaxseed and pumpkin seed a frozen banana or half of a frozen banana a tablespoon of peanut butter a bunch of oat milk and then I've been putting this AG1 D3 K2 drop in here just because like it's a smoothie. I can put whatever the heck I want in here and I have it and ice and chocolate whey protein. And I finally got my proportions right. So now I never have leftover smoothie. Guys, I cannot tell you how much joy smoothies have brought into my life. Like low key, it's like therapy. Like how good is this? It's you guys. <sighs> This seriously keeps me full until lunch and it's so freaking good. You know, I should probably put like cinnamon and dates in here, but I'm too lazy to buy dates. It's sweet enough, like it's very sweet. Okay, I'm gonna drink this as I finish wiping down surfaces and vacuuming the house and then we'll tackle the bathrooms. 
Okay, the thing about this rug is that it's very difficult to vacuum and I don't think the Dyson is strong enough. So I'm going to have to go over this multiple times because Vinny's hair is just like, it gets like sucked in to the carpet and I really don't like it. So maybe I need to get a stronger vacuum. I don't know. Let me know if there's like a specific carpet strong vacuum. My current Dyson, and I don't have the animal pet hair one. I just have like the old, old, old V6 from like 2019. So maybe I need to upgrade. Let me know what vacuum you guys use on carpets if you have pets. Hey guys, no joke. I just tried to move Vinny from the window to do something and... Are you freaking kidding me? I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Are you kidding me? Her freaking nail went in my freaking face, like deep. She won't let us cut her nails. It's really frustrating. How do you guys do it? Okay guys, I wanna show you the coolest thing that we got for Vinny. It's an automatic feeder. How cute! This is by Petly Bro. And we got the double one because she eats a lot. And also when she runs out of food, she panics. And when we put food back in, she like gets excited and then throws up. So I like to always have food for her out at all times. So this one came in handy. And I am working with them in today's video, which is so cool. Vinny is pulling her weight around here. This is the Petly Bro Granary Monitoring Automatic Feeder. And like I said, we have the two pet one. So if you have two cats, this is perfect. They won't be fighting over their food. So obviously this is an automatic feeder, but what's really cool is that you have the camera so you can see them when they're eating. If you're out of town or you're not home or you're out for dinner, you don't have to worry. Vinny, Vinny, are you hungry? It's programmed so you can set however many portions you want from one portion up to 50 portions. We set it for 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. It's really cool because we can talk to her through the feeder and she goes crazy when we're not home when we talk through it. She just gets so excited and we can just watch her without having to get like a home camera system. It's got two-way voice interaction and a quadruple seal system which keeps the food super fresh. It's a 1080p, 140 45 degree wide angle camera. It's got night vision and it's got memory card storage. It's really aesthetically pleasing. I got the white one and it has a clear display here so you can see exactly how much food is in it. And it actually holds a lot of food. Like that is a lot of food in here. And we like that we don't have to worry about feeding her. It just does it automatically and it's just one less thing to worry about. So I'll definitely have it linked down below. Make sure to check out the Petly Bro automatic pet feeder. You guys won't regret it. You guys can use code ERACHEL for 15% off. Everything will be linked down below. It's just a great addition to our little family. So thank you Petly Bro for sponsoring today's video. Okay, just finished cleaning the bathrooms. Everything is freaking 
spotless. The kitchen I mainly did last night, so I didn't really have to do much in there. Sheets are in the dryer, another load of colors in the wash. Bathroom is clean. The only thing I need to do is vacuum in here, but I'm gonna wait until I put the sheets on because the dust gets everywhere. You know how you have a duvet and the feathers get everywhere, so I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna take a little break, but I'm feeling good. Good job, guys. Okay guys, I'm gonna make some lunch and I wanna show you a recipe that I've been loving. It's so easy. So you just need any type of white fish besides tilapia. I am trying this like frozen snapper fillets. It says that it's wild caught, which is pretty cool. And it just comes like individually like this. It's kind of expensive, like for these two was $15, but I don't know, I don't know the prices of fish. So as a side, I love couscous. I just put like a tablespoon of butter in here and I'm just toasting it on high for like three to five minutes. So while that's toasting, I pat, I washed and pat dry the snapper and I seasoned it with a little bit of cumin, salt, pepper, a little bit of red pepper, and a little bit of chili powder. You can really do like whatever you want, but I've just, I like this combination. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil in my pan. This is from Palm Pan. They sent me this olive oil and I'm so excited because I love their olive oil. So this is kind of the toast that we're looking for. They don't all need to be brown because it can burn pretty quick, but just like a couple of them and you'll start smelling it. It smells so good. Okay, and then you put the correct amount of water in. I just follow the instructions on the box. So then you bring it to a boil and then cover it and simmer it. Okay, we're gonna put our fish in. And while that cooks, and before I did that, I just cut up some cucumbers and carrots. AJ can eat this whole thing in one day, and I prefer to snack on carrots. We're gonna let it cook for about three minutes and then flip it over, and then we'll add like lemon and garlic at the end. Okay, we just flipped it. I'm gonna let that sit for two minutes. I'm gonna put a bunch of butter and lemon and garlic in and like baste it. Gonna add some salt and a little bit of lemon juice to the couscous. Oops. And here you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I call it the simple fish. So easy. And then you just put like some of the extra sauce on top. So yummy. If I had some fresh herbs, I would put like a sprinkle of herbs or I would make like a chimichurri, but we don't have that today. Okay, I'm feeling really congested, like I can't even breathe through my nose right now. So I'm boiling some tea. My little kettle, I've honestly enjoyed this so much. Like no lie, like this thing is amazing. And it just makes making tea so much more fun. I just get, uh, I just have peppermint tea. This is the Bigelow brand. I don't know if anybody cares, but it's been really good. <coughs> then I just put some honey in it, especially for my throat right now. Just a splash. Should I put lemon juice? I'll just put like, I think that was too much, whatever. Guess who tested negative? I've been testing every other day just to see, like, cause I'm curious when people test negative, I don't know, because the CDC says that you have to wait five days, like minimum five days, and this was spot on. Like today is day seven, and I tested this yesterday, day six in the morning, and it was negative. So your girl is cleared. I'm just gonna stay home today anyway, just to be safe. I'm feeling like almost 100%. I just have like a very residual cough, but that that's normal, like I had that last time too for like months, yay. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot about my to-do list. But I actually did everything except for workout. However, we did go on a walk in the evening. I just forgot to film it. Yeah, so I guess today's my official day, my official last day that I'll be like self-isolating. AJ tested negative like four days ago because he got it before me. So he's been good to go, but we've just been like secluding ourselves, enjoying the time at home together. So yeah, I basically got my life together. It feels so amazing for the house to be clean. I'm going to insert some footage now of before before I got sick because I spent like half a day hanging out with my friend Hallie and doing other things So I want to insert that somewhere and I don't know where to put it So I'm gonna insert it here in this video. So so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this footage It's about seven minutes or so of me just living life before I got sick because once I got sick things went down real quick So enjoy this footage and I'll see you at the end of the video So low energy. 
energy this i hate this chair this chair always makes noise oh my gosh and aj's chair is worse watch this that's all i hear all day all night all day because he stays up later than me i need to get a new chair i need to get a new chair and give him my chair because my chair doesn't squeak as bad yet <sighs> we have the same chair what was i <sighs> happy thursday i don't have work today so happy about that i've just been such in a drowsy like unmotivated i haven't worked out in like four days so i figured i would take you guys along today day little day in life let's see what we get up to i have a few things that i want to do i'm hanging out with a friend today i'll take you guys along Okay, I got ready for the day and I'm feeling so much better already. I'm gonna meet my friend Hallie. We're gonna get pedicures, which I don't think I've done since like high school with my mom. So that's gonna be exciting. Although I'm very ticklish, so let's see how that goes. But how cute is this outfit? I just got this little thing, this little sheer top from Princess Polly. I'll show you guys that in another video, but be like a business casual with a bodysuit underneath and you can like tuck it in, so cute. I'm just wearing my top shot shorts if you missed my last couple of videos i've had this bag and i just bought this strap to make it like a shoulder bag a fun little morning and then i'm gonna bring my laptop i think we're gonna go to like a coffee shop or something and just spend some time together hello Really good. Moon star. $70. <laughs> we just got our nails done. That's the most bizarre place. I almost was like fraud immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I have a present for you. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is what it's like being the at the valley. The valley is calling me. Oh my gosh, Ooh, this goodie bag is like more expensive. Okay, than you like peels, right? There's yes. a peel in here. So you guys sell all of this stuff at your place, so if I needed it, I could get it from you guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me show you what my favorite is. I've been wanting to try this one. I got. I have to show you the one I got. Your mom would probably be so embarrassed. I got like this like fifteen dollar one on Amazon. Okay, this is the best sunscreen. This one is also tinted. Gosh. Samples. Everyone's like, any. everyone's like, who's that girl who did that Kylie Jenner impression? We need to know who she is, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. It was me. <laughs> Let me know if I should start my own channel. I told her she should. Story me. I could never. I said you want a hat, so I'm real bad. <laughs> to do any work, <laughs> and we're leaving. Whoa! Okay, I'm home from hanging out with Hallie. I just cleaned up my office because I was going to film a home office tour right now, but the lighting in here sucks in the afternoon because we get the morning light in here. Hello, Mary Poppins. So I'm just gonna film it tomorrow morning before work, which is gonna be a lot of effort, but I'd rather wait and have like really good lighting. It's looking like freaking spotless, at least my side. So that's ready to go for tomorrow. Look at this girl. Look at this girl. What in the world? Why didn't you clean it? Baby, it's gonna dry. You're gonna have to hose it down. I'm not gonna show you guys. She threw up on her. That looks like poop. The house is a mess. It's my fault. My stuff is everywhere. Um, so I'm gonna clean up. Oh my gosh, my stuff is everywhere. because I use my blender every single day, right? This is the Jo Young blender. I will have it linked down below. I love it, but I don't use the air fryer, but I keep this out and I have to put this away every day down here. 
but the air fryer doesn't fit in here and I have nowhere else to put it so I'm kind of conflicted do I just kind of like put this in storage because we don't really use it that often but then sometimes when I do want to use it I'm gonna be too lazy to bring it out oh you guys can see me in the reflection <laughs> so yeah I'm just thinking about keeping the blender out let me know what you guys think all right, just finished cleaning. Feels so much better, but I forgot to show you this little rack. I mean, you guys probably could guess, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like with the mops in there. So cool. These used to be like laying down in that corner, making progress. The problem is now that I cleaned the kitchen, I don't want to cook because then it'll get dirty. Yay. Do you guys ever get sick of seeing me clean my house? Let me know. Hey guys, I'm gonna do this Pilates workout again. I'm challenging myself to do it once a week until I can complete it without stopping. It's a 30 minute video, so I'm just gonna record a few clips. Who wants to watch me work out for 30 minutes? Okay, so I was doing really good at the beginning, finishing all the exercises, and then once we got to like 80% done, I tuckered out and like I, I just started doing air squats. I could not, like my heart was racing. I think we made progress. Let's see next week if I can finish it. Okay guys, I just made this really, oops, foggy. This really yummy creamy chicken recipe. It, I already tasted it, it's so good and so easy. Literally took me like 15 minutes. Okay guys, that's where the footage ends and I thank you guys for sticking around, giving me grace these past couple of weeks as my schedule has been a little bit out of the norm. I posted a post on my page a little bit ago, but in case you missed it, I've been trying to post Mondays and Thursdays, but sometimes I'll post early or post a day late, so just keep your bell notifications on. Um, sometimes it's out of my control, like when I can post a video, but I will be posting two videos a week, no no matter what um, for example like two weeks ago I only posted one video so the week after I posted three so you'll get the same amount of content it's just like it may be on a Tuesday instead of a Monday so just keep your eyes out it's been taking so much stress off of me especially being sick and everything to not have to religiously post especially if like a video is not ready or like I don't feel like it's my best content so yeah thank you for your understanding I will always shoot for Monday and Thursday but sometimes it may be like a different day and I don't want to like annoy you guys annoy you guys with like announcing every time a video is gonna be late So just thank you for your understanding. Love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye <laughs>